Well, Accra Road Church is an interdenominational English uh, church, English speaking church. Sometimes we mix the Ghanaian languages. But apart from that, it's a hymn singing church. They love singing most of the hymns that we have in the Methodist hymn book, the Anglican hymn book, that is the ancient and modern, and then the Presbyterian uh, hymn now. Uh, the music ministry here, yeah, we have the music director, and then we have um, um, four organists you know, who assist. Uh, and um, the music life uh, in this church, uh, I have to say that um, it has been very, very encouraging. The main church, the main, the main choir for the church is the Accra Ridge Church Choir. That is the main church. Sometimes it features in all the services. We have three services in a day. Then we have the youth choir, which is made up of, uh, they play other instruments apart from the, that is a band instrument with guitar, with uh, and all those players. And they get themselves involved in the praise and worship of the service. This is what we call a bit charismatic, but uh, we prepare for anthems and anything that, classicals, anything that uh, can make the church service interesting and then, uh, I mean, reflective on God. Yes. Organ is very, very important in our worship life because of um, the Methodist hymns. You know, we know it, when we talk of hymnology, that we're talking about the Methodist church, and we sing Methodist hymns and Anglican hymns. So, um, organ is very, very vital in the life of this church, the Akari Church. Um, we had uh, an old Johannes. I'm trying to remember what opus something, and. Uh, was installed over 20 years and uh, well served us quite faithfully and at some point in time I think about the 18th to the 19th year I guess old age had caught up with it and uh, you know play and it would go off you know we had a team of people who were doing an excellent job trying to keep it alive but at some stage we realized that no we needed to replace it. Well, for us, we had had a Johannes. So that was like the starting point, you know? Um, it should be at worst on the same level as what we had. But since we were in the future, it had to be something better. Uh, we bought a three manual monarch organ. With this organ, standing in the sanctuary and going through the mass, saying the mass, and with the organ you no know, sounding. It's, it's like, it's like you know, experiencing the spirit refreshing, emanating from the sound. Two gentlemen came from Holland. Well, of course, the organ had arrived. It hadn't been unpacked. And uh, I would say that the speed with which they unpacked it and assembled it was phenomenal. And what fascinated me most was the process of what you call it, voicing the organ. It was fantastic and very unique. <laughs> I hadn't seen anything like that before. <laughs> I quite remember when it was installed, 
when this organ was installed, um, people seldomly noticed it when we were installing it. They seldomly noticed it. But the first time it was played on a Sunday, you could see the reaction of the, of the congregants. No, they were just looking around. You know, what is happening? And it's like, you could see it. What, what is happening? What, what, this is something new. And, uh, and I, have to, I have to tell them that, no, no, don't be surprised. What you are you know, listening to is something new. The Johannes organ is something new. They love it. I have to say, they love it. They love the organ. They love the sound. They love it so much. The sound seems to come through quite well, even from the back of the church. It, you know, it resonates very well, and all the the, the organists are able to use all the different um, features in the organ, which is also very good. Oh, it makes the works uh, the church uh, service so wonderful. I mean, it's melodious, and of course, the organs are uh, the organists are fantastic because you know if you have a good organ and you don't have someone good playing it, it shouldn't come out, you need it too, but it makes the service more fulfilling. Oh, it, it has uplifted the sound and the quality of sound. And you can hear different, um, I don't know, it's loud, it's soft, it's, it's the trumpet voluntaries, it can do different things, so it makes the hymns more interesting. It's a big sound. I like to feel it all around me, and I do. Um, wherever I sit, wherever I stand, whatever volume we are singing, you can hear it, and it guides our singing. So I love the sound. It's big. The sound was so excellent and beautiful, and then tuneful to the glory of God. That's what I really admire. I would like to say that um, the, you see, the, it, for me, the, the beauty of an organ is when it responds to the stops you select. You know, it gives you the right sound and pitch, and it helps you to carry on. And that is what I found with it. So to me, I think it serves my purpose as any time. What I want, I can ask it to do, and it will respond. Um, the sound is excellent, it's satisfying, it's a full sound, you know. Um, you hear everything, you sometimes feel it, you know, it is, it is a unique feeling. I'm so much satisfied with this organ. I'm so satisfied with the organ. As I said, it, it, it inspires me whenever I'm celebrating the Mass. It really inspires me. So without an organ, Without this organ playing, I, I always have a problem with um, the music director because um, if there's no organist, I have to pick on him. Now, what is happening? What is happening? I need, I need this sound. I need this organ to, 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 to urge me on. So I've always made sure that in all my services, the Johannes organ is played. I would recommend Johannes to other churches because um, like any other instrument or equipment it's not the organ itself but after sales servicing and maintenance and uh, Johannes people are always ready to do that so in that aspect i think i'll recommend it once it's after sales servicing is flowing and the organ can last like the former Johannes we stayed for several years i think i will recommend it to any church Yes, I would. As a matter of fact, I just recommended it to another church last week. Um, the pastor came here and he wanted to know how. And so I showed, I told him exactly where we got it, how he can get it. And he was very excited about it. I'm so happy. To be frank with you, I'm so happy because I love music. And with this organ, it's really, um, places me in a wonderful mood celebrating the Mass. So I'm a very happy organist because uh, I can do whatever I want with this instrument. <laughs> Absolutely very satisfied. Very satisfied.